the Yohanese Ndibo Youth Wing has announced their decision to abstain from the nationwide protest scheduled for August 1st to 10th, 2024. Acting National President Chukuma Opalezu Izuku stated that the decision aligns with the elders' advice and aims to address regional challenges through constructive dialogue. We don't want destruction of our properties. Igbo Bentin stand on boycotting hardship protests. The Honest and Igbo Youth Wing has outlined their reasons for abstaining from the nationwide protest planned for August 1st to 10, 2024. This was retreated at a press conference in Enugu following an emergency convention of Igbo Youth Leaders and Stakeholders 2024, titled State of the Nation. The organization acknowledged the significant issues facing the Southeast, including economic hardship, high youth unemployment, and inadequate rep representation in governance. Okay. Acting National President Chukuma stated that in alignment with the decision of the elders, the Igbo youth have decided against participating in protest. The Punch reported. Instead, they seek to address their challenges through constructive dialogue with the federal government and southeast governors to find effective solutions. Furthermore, Okpalae Zeuku said this strategy is designed to encourage productive collaboration rather than conflict to achieve more meaningful and last outcomes for the region's youth. Okpalae Zuku emphasized that why the hunger protest is a legitimate and understandable response to the nation's current challenges there is concern that it could lead to the loss of lives and property among Igbo citizens, similar to the violence experienced during the NSAS protests in 2020, the Guardian reported. He stated he wished to avoid a repeat of the destruction of uh, investments and the potential for our people to become targets in protest zones. We are committed in engaging in constructive dialogue to ensure our concerns are addressed and are to secure fairness, equity, and a sense of inclusion. He expressed concern that even before the protest has begun, ego business, businesses in cities like Abuja and Lagos are facing threats. We want to prevent further violence and property damage affecting our people. Speaking further, the ego called on Tinubu administration to appoint ego youth to relevant positions. Okpala Ezuku said, we call for the appointment of Igbo youth to political positions to be integrated into the government. We hope that in the continued dialogue, the government will address the issues affecting the Southeast now that the civil war is within of the past. Okay. Mm. Well, please bro, stop replying to these people. Uh, we are waiting for you. What Igbo people did to Yoruba people properties in Lagos State and the destruction of Obai Palace, including Lake Kito Gates, is still fresh. <laughs> so it is Igbo people that did that. Uh, God will judge you and your generation. Lazy person. Ujikoko will kill you. Try it and learn hard way. You are still alive to see what happened for answers. Try anything funny against Igbo's business. You will be, you will not live to tell the story. <laughs> yeah, the lazy ones have spoken. We will never participate in any protest. Final. I really like the protest to hold, but I no want any Igbo man for that protest because Igbo's no be Niger. No real Igbo person will participate in the protest. Those people supported him should go and protest. As for Igbos, we will always survive no matter how the whole situation is. As far as we are concerned, we have no business with the government. We have always survived with any support, without any support from them. Every Igbo man is a potential. Uh, what? <laughs> well, nice decision. People that voted in who should go and uh, protest. That's all now. She should not protest you. No carry your blue stay stay to spoil another man's rig. Uh, that's it. They should not protest.
so that is it's as simple as that but even as these people are saying that they don't want to protest the same so-called yoruba people yes they are still making it we have to say it the way it is because when you try to be diplomatic these guys will just come any little thing whatever that does not concern Igbo, if Igbo, uh, Yorubas and Hausa are fighting, the next day they just want a situation whereby they want to rope Opitaobi, rope Igbos into it without any uh, provocation from anywhere. So, what are you talking about? Then you now expect the people, you are not going to be uh, uh, diplomatic, but you want them to be diplomatic in their dealings, in their speech, in their utterances, but you don't do that. The same templates that uh, the northerners played under Buhari, the same thing that these guys are, are doing now. It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. In Nigeria, I don't buy jail. Pata, pata. Everywhere, they don't they scatter. They must look for a way to inculcate or to bring Igbo matter into any other discussion that has nothing to do with Igbo. So I think I support them. Those who voted for this bad government should protest. Uh -huh. They believe in them. So guys, I let's say your opinion on that. Take on this.